two backplate and wing units by dive right. And what we've got here is we've got the XT Trans Pack, and over here, we've got the XT Trans Plate. And of course, it's kind of obvious why this one's called the plate and that one's called the pack. But let's look at the particulars so you see what some of the options are. And I think you'll be quite pleased. Now, I'm also going to be putting a link down below so you can go to the site and look at the customization and some of the additional parts and pieces that you can utilize with these two BCs. I want to thank you folks for joining me on this video. If you've not subscribed yet, please reach down and hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers and love for you to be one of those. Now, these two units, the XTs, the pack, and the plate, there's some similarities here, but there's also quite a few options. So let's talk about the similarities of these two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the fronts, I'll turn it around and show you the backs, and some of the different options that are available to you out there. We'll start here in the front on the XT Trans Pack. Now the Trans Pack is available in five different sizes from small up through 2XL. And the nice thing about this pack is that this pack is uh, super comfortable. It's got the bolsters around the side. It's very easy to, uh, to transport because it's really lightweight and then it's got a really nice comfortable pad on it. So if you're looking for a, a really comfortable back plate and wing unit, the Trans Pack might be one that you should consider. One of the other similarities you're gonna see between these two units is the Trans Plate harness. Now there's three different harnesses. So the Trans Plate, the Deluxe, and the basic. So the basic is more of the standard uh, Hargarthian style uh, harness situation. The deluxe has some of the features of the trans plate, but the trans plate is probably the most customizable of the three. Now, when we look over here at the trans plate, you're gonna see this beautiful 3 16th stainless steel plate and again, this is called the XT Lite. It weighs 2.4 pounds and is a 14 gauge material. Now I'm gonna put a picture up here of the XT Plate. It's a little thicker, it's 10 gauge, and it weighs 5.51 pounds. And of course, so you're able to see that you can configure this with the Trans Pack, which is nice and light. The, um, the little heavier uh, XT light or the standard XT plate. So that gives you some understanding about the harnesses and about the, um, let's just call them the plates. And now let's turn these units around and take a look at the back. Now I turned around the trans pack because the wing on both of these are exactly the same. These are 30 pound lift wings. These come with the 16 uh, inch deflator inflator hoses. And these both have this quick release or release RE valve they call it elbow. Now you can get this with just a standard elbow on it if you don't want this quick dump. In other words, you pull on the left side and of course you're able to dump air out of this vent. And that's a very recreational style thing. You'll notice that this one, which this one does too, have, has two cam straps, or better known as tank straps, and the cams or the buckles on these are both stainless, really beautifully done stainless buckles. And there is also a valve strap up here. Now you can add a single tank adapter to both of these units if you would like to. Now this particular wing, the 35 pound, and 
I got to tell you, there's like 25, 35, 40, 45, and then there's some others that uh, go to like the CCR units, that sort of thing. But Dive Right has a wide range of wings, so you could do just the trans pack with maybe a, a 25 pound wing or put it together however you want to. And like I said, there's gonna be a link down below so you can go to uh, the site and you can customize your unit to fit your style of diving that you wanna be doing. Now, this material, they make a, a number of different materials. The denier is, I believe they call it 1680, and it's available in about five different colors. It's really nice because it comes with the bungees. It keeps it nice and compact. Now I'm gonna turn the trans plate around, and we're gonna look at what they call the super fabric. It's only available in the black, and it's got a real armored finish to it. It feels kind of like a, like maybe what rhino skin or something like that would be uh, the texture of. So it's got a very durable finish and probably if you're doing something around wrecks or cave diving or whatever, this is probably gonna be your best choice. Now it also has the bungee um, connections to help keep it nice and small. All right, I've got them turned around and the uh, plate actually has a few extra accessories on it that this plate doesn't have on it. Uh, something I wanna point out, this one has their uh, weight pocket. These are available in 20 pound and 30 pound. And the way this one is mounted, uh, somebody put it together so that when you pinch the weight pocket, you pinch and the weight pocket comes out of the top here. This could be reversed so that if you pinched it, the weight could fall out of the bottom, or this could be mounted so that it's like a traditional BC that has integrated weights that come in and out of the, the front of the unit. It, this unit has the inch and a half crotch strap on it which is really nice. A lot of times people don't realize how comfortable crotch straps can be and how secure they can make your back plate and wing feel. So that's a quick look at Dive Right's XT Trans Pack and Trans Plate and some of the options that they offer. And if you're diving one of these configurations, leave a comment down below. We'd all like to read what kind of unit you're diving. And of course, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed right here, hit that no cost subscribe button. Love for you to be one of our subscribers. And as I always say here, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching.